What is going on guys, Snickle here, and in this video I'll be walking you through how to get all the online trophies for Dirt Rally on the PlayStation 4. This guide will be the most efficient way to get all of the online trophies, and in order to do this you must boost some of these trophies. You will need to have some pure skill for some trophies, but others can be done easier and faster with this boosting method. I just wanted to clear that up before getting into this guide, so if you aren't a fan of boosting for any online trophies, then disregard any of the methods that I discuss any further. Anyway, Dirt Rally has a total of 12 online trophies. You will only need two players for some of the trophies, and the rest require nobody at all, but they are all time limited. In order to complete all of the online trophies, it will take approximately a week or two, playing a few hours a day depending on when events show up. I want to start by talking about one of the most important trophies to get done as quickly as possible, which is GG. This requires you to complete a season in leagues, and the reason why I say this needs to be done as quickly as possible is that it requires you to go onto Codemasters website and create a league through them. So for if any reason the site goes down and Codemasters doesn't feel like fixing it, then it would deem this trophy unobtainable. I will leave a link to this website down in the description below, but simply go on there, create a tournament and then go into the game and complete it. Next up is all of the community events, which is what will take the most time since these events spawn randomly every day. You also will need to have some sort of skill to get these trophies since they all require you to be in the top tier, and with a smaller player base this can prove to be quite difficult sometimes. Top tier requires you to be faster than at least one third of the people that played the event. I also must note that you only get one attempt at these events, so if you mess up there is no restarting for that daily event. If you're able to win events in single player without having to restart, then this should be no problem at all. If not, then be sure that when you're doing these events to not wreck your car. Most of the time if you just finish the race, you will place pretty high. The first trophy is easier said than done, which is to come in the top tier of an online event. This isn't tied to any event in particular like the description states, so do this whenever you load the game up. Next up is Circuit Trained, which is to finish in the top tier of a Rallycross online event. Whenever the Rallycross event decides to pop up for a daily event, be sure to do it and get in the top tier. Next up we have The Only Way Is Up, which is to finish in the top tier of a hill climb daily online event. From experience, this can be one of the more difficult events to get top tier in and it didn't pop up too often for me, so when you see it, be sure to complete it and get in the top tier. Next is Owned, which is to finish in the top tier of the Owner's Club Daily Challenge. The Owner's Club seemed to be a more common event that came across when loading into the game, so if you see it, be sure to hop in and place a time. This event will pit everyone against each other using the same car, so this will either be very good or very bad for some people. Lastly, for the daily events, we have a whole lot of cheddar, which is to win the maximum return on your stake in a wager event in online events. This is another event that I didn't commonly see, so when you see it, you'll need to hop in. The maximum wager amount can vary anywhere between $100,000 to $200,000, so you will need to have a decent amount of money saved up before attempting to win this max wager. All of these events can be seen at the main menu, so you will be able to easily see them right when you load into the game. And I already know what some people's questions are going to be for this section. Hey Snickle, when do the events show up? Hey Snickle, how do I get in the top tier? And to answer those two major questions, one, how do you get the events to show up? You don't, they're random, you just have to log in and hope that the right events are there. And two, how do you get into the top tier? You complete the event and you hope that other people did bad or you just keep playing the game and you get better at it. That's the only two ways to get the events to show up and to actually be in the top tier. While getting through signing in every day trying to figure out what daily events are available from the previous section, you should be keeping in mind that you'll need to complete a weekly event which will get you the trophy any given Sunday. The weekly events are like any other championship that you'll do for the single player with respect to time. The other event that you need to keep in mind is completing a monthly event which will get you the trophy dependable. The monthly event consists of races from all types of tracks and takes upwards of 5-6 to six hours to complete depending on how fast you go. There are some things that you need to keep in mind when going for the weekly and monthly events. 
First off, these are treated like a daily event. You cannot restart them if you wreck your car or if there are any other circumstances that would not allow you to finish the race or event. If you are disqualified from the event for any reason, you have to wait another week for the weekly event and another month for the monthly event. Secondly, you don't need to finish in a certain tier for these events. You just need to finish them. So take your time and be careful while racing. Lastly, you won't need to wait until the event ends to get your trophy. Once you finish the event, the trophies will unlock. The last section of this guide is the PvP trophies that can be done all with just one other person. The first thing that you want to do is go into the custom championship mode and create your own championship that has parameters that will allow only you and your friend to join and also has the least amount of events to get this done the fastest. With custom championships, you set the start time, so remember to set the time as soon as possible. Also, when creating this event, make sure to set the vehicle type to something that both you and your partner own. Now just sit and wait for the event countdown to end and the event to start. You must complete the event and win. This should get you the trophies. The fun starts here, which is to compete in an event in PvP. Investment vehicle, which is to win in an event in PvP with a car that you own. And whose house, which is to win an online custom championship in PvP. After this, have your partner create a custom championship and repeat all the steps above to get their win trophies. Upon finishing those two events, you will now only have one more race to do to finish the online. In multiplayer, create a rally cross race. Once in the race with you and your partner, all you need to do is take the joker lap and not have your partner pass you. If done correctly, you will earn the trophy so serious, which is to complete a joker lap in PvP without losing a position. That will about wrap up this guide for all of the multiplayer trophies for Dirt Rally on the PlayStation 4. To do all these trophies, it will take approximately one to two weeks depending on when certain events appear and will only require two people. Down in the description below, you will find a playlist to any trophy guides that I made for this game. If you have any questions about this online or want to leave any comments, be sure to do that down below. If you have any suggestions for any other games that you would like to see guides like this for, also be sure to leave that down in the comments below as well. I will only make these guides for games that I have completed the multiplayer for, so if you do want to check out which games those are, there is a link to my PSN profiles linked in the description below as well. The reason for this is I want to give my insight and strategies that I used in order to obtain all of these online trophies, since that is the purpose of these videos. Anyway, if you did enjoy or found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. If you've made it this far and you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this, and I hope to see you all around sometime soon.